tangent problems are very, very common in maths because they're nice. And really, the big thing to remember is what does this even mean? Ta something is tangent to something. Then that means if we do simultaneous equations, or if we sketch the two graphs, which is kind of the same thing, then um, they will just touch, not cross. The line, a tangent is a line, so the line will just touch the curve. So we'll have a some sort of curve, and then the line, and they will just touch here. So that's one piece of information. And the other piece of information is that at the point, whatever this is, let's say this is 1, 8, at x equals 1, y equals 8, um, the gradient of the curve equals the gradient of the line. And the other important information, which is fairly obvious um, from the picture, is that when x is 1, x is 8 for both x, y I mean, y is 8 for both the line and the curve. So I could use that information that they intersect at the point um, 1, 8 or whatever the point is. They intersect at 1, 8. So the one that we're going to use in this situation is the first one, the fact that the simultaneous equations, the line, if you do simultaneous equations, then you can use the fact that the line just touches the curve. So there's only one solution. And one solution means the discriminant is zero. So in this particular example, I would um, say if I do simultaneous equations, so I'll make the first one say y equals, which it already does, sub it into the second one. So 6x plus k, that's y, plus 1 minus x squared minus 4x is naught. Now the point is I don't want to solve this. I know it has one repeated solution. That's the important bit. I'm not actually going to solve it. I don't actually care um, where they intersect. Well, they don't even intersect, they just touch. But I don't care. The point is that I know that this equation has one repeated solution. I know that. So let's organise it a little bit better. Um, what have we got? Minus x squared. How many x's have I got? Minus 4x and 6x. That's plus 2x. And then I've got a plus k and a plus 1. And I'm going to write it again because it's so important. Has one repeated solution. I am not trying to solve this equation to find out where they cross or where they don't really cross they touch I don't care what point it is where the line is tangent I don't care about this at all what I'm interested in is k so the k here it moves the graph of the straight line up and down so when you add k to a function if you have y equals a function plus k then that would move it up, and minus k would move it down. So what we're trying to do is find the exact point. If it is too far down, it's not going to touch. If it's too far up, it's going to cross twice. We're looking for that special, special value of k where it will just touch the graph. And that's where we got this equation from. Well, not equation, this fact has one repeated solution. So that means b squared minus 4ac is 0. Let's identify the b, the a, and the c. b is the amount of x, which is 2. a is the amount of x squared, which is minus 1. And c is the everything else, which is k plus 1. So b squared minus 4ac is naught because there's one repeated solution because it's a tangent. And then I can solve for k.